Hello everyone. Well, I was a little bit disappointed when this was delivered. I got this from Amazon and it's another Kasdan Dyson ball upright. I do have one of these, but this one is in purple. Well, I'm hoping it's purple, but it's not in a nice box. It's in a very plain box. And for some reason, up until recently, if you wanted to buy one of these from Amazon, the purple version, the minimum you could buy was two. I don't understand why that was. Anyway, they've corrected that. So now you can just buy one. But this is how it arrives now. So I wonder if a lot more online retailers will be starting to get plainer packaging. I know mail order catalogues used to do that, you know, way back. If I, if I bought, bought a real vacuum from a mail order catalogue, often it would come in a brown box like this. But the same machine, if I was to look in a shop like Curry's or Rumbelow's or any of the shops that were, you know, going at the time, there'd be in a nice printed box. Because in a shop, they used to stack them up and the boxes used to help sell the products. But obviously, if you're buying it from a picture in a catalogue or online, well, it doesn't need a fancy box does it really so anyway let's take it out we've got the handle a little instruction book the cleaner itself yes I'm glad it is the purple one I think the other one I've got is the yellow version well that's it and this differs I suppose from the other Dysons that I've shown you in the fact that this one actually sucks up from the main floor nozzle. It doesn't have a hose attached. Unlike the other Dyson Upright, the DC01, and I think the one based on the, I think it's the DC14. I'm pretty sure that one can only be used to suck up small bits of dirt using the hose. But this Dyson ball, now I think this one is based basically on the DC25, it could be the DC24, the smaller Dyson. I'm not sure really. I think it's probably based on the DC25. So we need to attach the handle, don't we? And it's that way around. I think this handle just pushes in and clips into place. And I'm not sure if we can release it once it's in, but it needs to go in. Okay, I've fitted the handle. It is quite a firm push. You really have to push quite hard until it clicks. So that once it's in, that seems pretty secure. Okay, time to fit the batteries. This toy Dyson takes four C-sized batteries that fit along the spine of the machine. There's a single screw here, which you need to release, undo. And then to access the battery compartment, you are supposed to push it down, slide it down this cover. But again, this is something I've been fiddling with. I don't know if I've got a bit, oh, there we go. That's it. Thought I had an, a bit of a dud. So there you go. That's the battery compartment. And as I said, 4C or L14 batteries, I think it is. But they all go the same way, with the negative at the bottom and the positive at the top. So I'll just get the batteries and fit them now. So bottom one in first and then they all go in the line like that. You've got to be careful they don't bulge out like that and try and pop out. Push them back in. Obviously now <laughs> they don't want to stay in there. So we've definitely got to fit the cover. So there's a little tab on the end at the top. So you need to just slide it in. Push it up. Now it's in the locked position. And then of course we need to tighten up the single screw at the bottom. So there we go, that's the batteries securely in place. Here's the cleaner head of this Dyson. We've got the ball in the middle. 
a bit like the real thing. So when properly reclined, it swivels and pivots on the ball like the real thing. Of course this is based on an older Dyson now. They don't make the DC24 or DC25. I'm wondering whether Kasdan is going to produce a toy version of the new light ball or the small ball that I've demonstrated on my channel. Now there's um, the wheels at the back if you, if you just heard that clicking noise it has a similar sort of stabilizing wheel at the back two wheels like the real thing it's a little bit temperamental now I don't think this cleaner stands up very well I, as far as I know and as far as I can tell I've got this stabilizing wheels engaged so that should be in the upright position but it uh, falls over so this is going to have to be kept lying down or propped up against the wall because even when you see that won't go any further those and there is a, even a message here please read instruction sheet for retraction of stabilizer wheels well there's no the retraction of them they will retract when you lower the handle but they don't always lock you've just got to give it a bit of a push so you can use it but sometimes that seems to be working better it's loosened up i think but they're getting they get in the way you can actually manually just clip those into the operating position like that but yes, yeah, so you sometimes have to give it a little bit of a help. But even, yeah, it is locked. That's locked in the proper position, but it won't stand up. So be aware of that. We've got the looped handle at the top here. So to turn on the simulated action, now this is sealed. You can see it's got some pretend colored dirt. And this particular part is sealed. So when you actually do use it to pick up small debris it doesn't collect in here it collects in a separate container which I'll show you in a minute but if we want to see the cyclonic action we press the button at the top and then this colored dirt spins round much the same ways as it would in the real thing to turn on the suction motor at the back of the cleaner there is a little slide switch so you push that down to turn the motor on and push it up to turn it off the dirt container is located in the middle of the ball and you access it using this little slider switch at the back so you just push that down with the machine in the upright position obviously and then you just pull out the dirt container just put the machine on its side so it doesn't fall over much much smaller capacity look how small that is compared to the DC01 and the DC14 toys very small so you only pick up very small amounts and there should be a way of emptying it if I can open the end it does open there we are a bit stiff because it's new so you just tip out the dirt you've collected and the dirt actually gathers collects goes in the box from the bottom and you see there's perforated holes at the top so there is a little suction motor just inside the ball so when you pop the container back you need to make sure that the perforated part is at the top and you just push it in that's it and it clicks into position this is the underside of the Dyson toy and as you can see there's no brush roll that you'd find on the real thing instead we've just got a single suction inlet here to allow us to collect the small polystyrene balls or tiny bits of paper and there are four tiny tiny wheels to give you maneuverability 
of the nozzle but of course the whole thing when you're using it when the wheels are retracted the ball forms part of the maneuverability of the cleaner so this works more like the later balls really this is based on a model where the ball the whole ball would rotate to provide maneuverability and of course in the real thing the motor would be inside here but on the toy looks like a ball but really it's fixed in the middle and you've just got two large wheels either side so that really does mimic the later Dyson ball machines as you can see the ball from that side as well okay well I've shown you around the Dyson ball toy we need to see if it's going to pick up any dirt to give this cleaner a bit more of a fighting chance I've limited the dirt into a line here so hopefully it's going to manage to pick most of these up Well, as you can see, like most of the toy vacuums, static electricity has caused <laughs> the polystyrene balls to stick to the outside of the cleaner. And it's also just really scattered a lot of the dirt. Again, it could be this particular rug, so I'll do it on a floor and I'll do it on the carpet as well because it might perform better but we'll just see whoops <laughs> there we go we'll see what it's picked up if anything I think it's picked something up well it has yes it's picked something up look <laughs> not very much though and again The balls don't really like to be emptied out. They always stick on the inside of these plastic containers. So I'll pick all this up and then pop the dirt back down onto the carpet. And then I'll finish the video and see if it's better on a hard floor, which it should be. Most of these toy vacuums do perform better when used on a hard surface. Okay, let's try it again on the carpet. Well, this toy Dyson did better on the carpet than it did on the rug, slightly less of a static problem. But while I was carrying it into this room to try it on a hard floor, a lot of the dirt just fell out of the front of the nozzle. So I'm not sure how much I can show you. It's just spilling out everywhere. Perhaps I've overfilled it, to be honest. It is a very tiny, tiny capacity. Yeah, probably overfilled it. But yes, it's certainly better on the carpet than the rug. So we'll finish the demo. Bear in mind that quite a bit of this did spill out. <laughs> there we are. We shouldn't, in theory, have much of a static problem on a hard floor. But we'll see. Right, I've emptied it as much as I can. Mm -hmm. It's very, very fiddly as well. 
you know I'm much if you can get a second-hand Dyson DC01 toy by Kasdan I think it's far better than this now this is this is okay it's quite, it seems fairly robust you know and it's good for pushing around and the cyclonic actions quite fun right so that's in position okay Let's make sure the wheels are out of the way at the back and this time we might as well combine both motors and have the cyclonic action going at the same time as the suction bit more successful on the floor it got most of it it has scattered a few of the polystyrene balls and even on the floor you can see it's dropped some of them have actually dropped out now when I picked it up but even on the hard floor <laughs> oh dear be careful not to pick it up and tip it up because the polystyrene balls will fall out I'm trying to show you that some have still stuck to the clean head look at that yeah. They just do not want to be sucked into the cleaner, do they? Now I've made a mess again, which I'll attempt to pick up. Well, that's the end of my video on this toy Dyson upright vacuum by Kasdan. It's got its pros and cons. It's not very good at picking up and the dirt container is absolutely tiny. It's the smallest I've seen really on any toy vacuum and it's very awkward to get into and pull out and empty. It's not very good at all. These wheels are also problematic, but then that mirrors the real thing. They just I seem to have to manually clip them into position. Sometimes they actually, as you're pushing the toy, sometimes they actually pop down on their own and then it's not, does that. So you have to keep clicking it out of the way. Once they are out of the way, the ball does work quite well. It's very maneuverable, a bit squeaky, but it's fun to push. And of course, you don't have to pick anything up, you can just press the red button at the top and just have the simulated cyclonic action and pretend you're actually doing some cleaning. But of course you can incorporate the suction motor as well, have a bit more noise. It doesn't stand up you know even when you that is when you click the wheels supporting wheels it falls down it did seem to stand up on a hard floor but yes you're gonna to have to keep this lying down somewhere to prevent it toppling or make sure it's lent up against a wall but it's a nice little detailed version of the real thing it does look the part it feels it feels pretty robust there's no sharp or hard edges on this, so it is suitable.
for a child. There's nothing really that could break. This may, I'm not going to test it, but this might survive a fall down the stairs. It all does seem fairly well, well made, well put together. But yes, like most toy vacuums, it is a toy. It's not going to do much regarding cleaning, but it's fun to have. And um, I do quite like it. You can get this in this purple color or it comes in a yellow. I'll put a link below the video if you want to buy one from Amazon. It might suit um, a child who's who likes vacuuming or does about likes vacuums in particular any any vacuum but it's quite a popular toy from Casden but not I don't think as popular as the Henry and Hetty cleaners which do actually pick up better than this machine thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions about this toy Dyson please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now